Hi everybody, it's Elizabeth with the Noonan Carnegie Library and today we are going to learn how to make woven paper stars. You can make these as simple or as elaborate as you like. Um, I'm making them out of cardstock. This one is made out of folded book pages that are folded into half inch strips that are uh, nice and long. This one we used, we made very large and we used as a tree topper for the Christmas tree here at the Carnegie. And we embellished it with wooden buttons that we found in beautiful colors that I think accented it nicely. So these can be embellished in a, in a variety of ways. You can add glitter to them. You can use whatever kinds of paper you want. Um, it's nice to use a stiffer paper like cardstock. They hold up much better that way. Uh, or to take paper that's a little thinner and fold it several times to make it a nice stiffer paper so it holds up really well. And this one has held up nicely, so this was over a year ago that I made that one. This one is made out of slightly shorter paper strips. These were eight and a half inches long and half inch wide. These were 12 inches long and a half inch wide. These were also 12 inches long and several of them were half inch wide and the others were a quarter inch wide. So you can see the, the way that that altered the finished product. And then I made a smaller one. This is six inches. The paper strips are six inches long and a quarter inch wide. And we only used three strips in the center of each piece for 12 strips total for the finished piece. These larger ones, as you can see, you've got one, two, three, four, five go in both ways, one, two, three, four, five. So 10 on each side, 20 uh, total to make the finished product. So I'm gonna show you how we do that. These have to be woven together a little bit in order to make that finished beautiful product. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, and I'm gonna do one that's gonna end up looking like this for your example. So it'll have two points on each end It'll have the five by five weave in the, center, in the center. So this is gonna take 20 strips that are 12 inches long and a half inch wide. And it'll be a lattice weave in the center. So I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take two of them and you need to find your center point on both. So because these are 12 inches long, we need to find the six inch point. and mark that on both of those. And what we're gonna do is make our first cross piece just like this. And you can use whatever type of glue works best for you. You can use hot glue, you can use double-sided tape, you can use um, a slower drying glue. If you use a slower drying craft glue, you are gonna wanna clamp your glue points until they dry. So you can use paper clips for that or binder clips, whatever works for you. Um, I am going to use uh, adhesive glue dots today just to make this go a little quicker. So I'm put my adhesive dot on and we're going to match our two center points up and make a nice straight cross piece just like that. Now. However, you've got your cross piece laying. So for this one, this piece is on top and this piece is on bottom. So our next two pieces because this one's on top, this piece that goes this way will need to be underneath to start our lattice. We just like the top of an apple pie. Right. Same thing for on the other side. We're going to stick one underneath. Make that as evenly spaced as you can and line your edges up just like that. Next 
next two will go on top. Okay, so that's the beginning of our basket weave. And the next thing we're going to do is lay our pieces down the next, the alternate way. So, if you pick this up, you can see our centerpiece goes underneath, over, underneath, over, underneath. So the next piece needs to go over, underneath, over, underneath, and over. And you will want a blue dot or an adhesive of your choice at each of those juncture points to hold that center nice and tight. We haven't done yet is this center one right here. So I'm going to do that now by flipping it over and putting an adhesive dot there. Okay. And now we're going to repeat the process two more times on either side of the center piece. So, alternate your weave. So this one starts with over, so it needs to start with under on the next time. Go under, over, under, over, and under. And then glue at every juncture point.
So now what you've got is 10 strands done in a lattice basket weave, just like you would have on the top of an apple pie. So over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. So alternating just like they're supposed to in an apple pie. Now comes the tricky part. We're gonna make our points. So these points that we have for each side, just like this. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we need a little bit of glue. And we're gonna take these innermost two corners and flip them. So I don't know if I can show you this very clearly. Flip them just like this. So turn them. I got them flat. I'm going to turn that over. Turn that over. We're just going to repeat that process until you've got two points like this on each end. And that will leave you with one open strand in the center. So when you've got two points on each end, you'll have one open strand in the center of each piece. So this is a completed side of your star. You're going to have two of these at the end. So you're going to repeat the same process twice. You're going to do your complete lattice weave and then you're going to create your points by bringing them into the center to meet and gluing them together and you're going to leave one strand in the middle and that is your completed side and you will have two of these, and then we will put those together. All right, so once you've got your two sides, you'll have two points on each side, on each corner, and you'll have center lines. Now what you're gonna do is lay these face down. So your bottom one's gonna be face up on the table, and this one's gonna be face down, and you want the corner, the corners to go on top of the straight line. So it's gonna look like this. So a straight line, straight line on top of the corners, straight line on top of the corners. And then we want to take our straight lines put them inside the corners all the way around. So every one of those straight lines is going to go inside both of those corners. So inside 
both of those corners. Inside both of those corners. Inside, just like that. And we're gonna do that all the way around. Top and bottom. And the next step that we're gonna do is we want to glue each of these corners to the top of our straight line that's on the inside of it. So where this straight line goes inside that corner, we're gonna glue that to the tip of that corner right there. Just like that. And we're gonna do that all the way around. And then we're also gonna take this bottom corner and glue it underneath. So it'll be glued right there. And we're gonna do that all the way around. So we're gonna glue every corner to its corresponding center line all the way around. Okay, so once you have glued all of your end pieces, center pieces to your points, what you'll have is your finished star and you can trim the square edges. So you can see that you've got sort of squared off edges here at the top. You can just trim those off to give your star its points. And just trim them to match your pointed edges. And that gives you your star, your points. And that's your completed star. So you got your two sides glued together. You did your weaves, made your points, and got them together. So it's actually easier than it looks. And like I said, you can vary the widths of your strands. You can vary the materials. You can add whatever sorts of embellishments you like. This is still one of my very favorites because I did it with book pages and embellished it with wooden beads, or wooden uh, buttons that are painted in the pretty colors. So you can make them as large as, or small as you like. You can do them as ornaments for the tree. You can do them as tree toppers. You can do them as additions to a wreath. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make these stars with me. And please do check out our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, our Instagram, and our website at noonandcarnegie.com. And I hope to see everyone again soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.